Okay, this is help with uh, Castle Learning Unit 11, Part D, E, and F, Heat of Reaction Potential Energy Diagrams. Um, these questions are tricky and kind of all over the place, so I'd like to help you. Um, based on Table I, which equation represents the reaction with the greatest difference between the potential energy of the products and the potential energy of the reactants? So they're looking for, like, which one didn't just have, like, a small difference, but, like, a big difference between the end and the beginning. Can you try, try to be quiet, okay? That's okay. Um, so I'm just basically looking for which one of these has like the biggest delta H. It doesn't even say it has to be positive or negative. So I'm just gonna move myself down here and just look at table I for, so you literally just have to like find each of these. It's kind of a pain. AL, making AL203. So AL, I can find this a little faster than you because I'm used to it. So 3,351, that seems like a contender. Um, making H2O, this one, let's see. Making H2, just H2O, here it is. Oh, that one's not as high, I'll cross it off. Next one, making CO2 and water from C3H8, so just kind of, trying to find the part of it that sticks out to me. That one is mm, not as high as this one, right? This is 3,351, this is 2,000. And the last one is C6H1206, turning into what again? I missed that, uh, CO2 and water. So that's actually cellular respiration. And that one's still not as quite as high as that first one. So that first one is our answer. It has the biggest delta H. So it had the biggest um, difference between where it started and where it ended. All right, so just another way of asking these questions. Um, next question says, um, <clears throat> which value is defined as the difference between the potential energy of the products and the reactants? So remember, it's the difference between where you started and where you ended up, and that's always going to be your total heat of the reaction. All right, so you'll definitely see that. Um, you'll see that question multiple times in here in different forms. Based on table I, which compound dissolves in water? So we should be looking for something dissolving water in an exothermic way. If I look at the bottom of this, oops, bottom of this table, I will recall that even if I didn't memorize it, that negative, del negative delta H is exothermic. So that's what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for something dissolving in water exothermically. So here's something dissolving in water exothermically. It's NaOH in water, and then it's got a negative delta H. Uh, same thing with this one. It's LIBR in water, and it's got a negative delta H. Uh, so let's see if we can find either of those, LIBR or NaOH. Let's see. Uh, there it is. NaOH is our answer. All right. So it's really just getting used to finding stuff on table I. Just going to take a little practice. Did I skip question three? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, based on table I, what is the delta H value for the production of one mole of NO2 from its elements at just regular temperature and pressure? So I'm making this. So I'm looking for the making of NO2. All right, so I'm going to flip over to here. Where is NO2 being made? I'm just going to kind of search through here for NO2 being made. NO2, there's NO, but I don't quite see. Oh, there's NO2. Okay, so there's NO2 being made, and it looks like in the in the um, equation it is being made, so I don't have to flip it. So when it's made, it costs, or you gain 66.4 kilojoules. So let me go back, 66.4 uh, kilojoules, and I don't see it there, so I'm like, eh, what did I do wrong? It only wanted one NO2, is that where I went wrong? Okay, yeah, this makes two NO2. I only wanted to make one NO2, so I'm going to divide that number by two to get 33.2. And was that positive or negative? It was positive. All right, so I'm going to choose the positive one. And my children are just being so lovely right now. Um, I will continue with this because I think these questions are hard in another video.